So we're 33 days before the presidential election and I'm here at the African American Voter Rep office with, with Kadada Malloy. Kadada. And Kadada, you mentioned that you're just 24. Yeah. And uh, can you take us back to the first time you voted? Um, well, the first time I got to vote, I was 19 years old and it was Obama's first election or first term that he was running and um, I remember getting walking up to the poll and just like having butterflies in my stomach just so excited because not only was I getting to vote for the first time but I was getting to elect a black president someone he's biracial he's mixed just like me and I mean it's just really empowering and um, I lived in a town that was very white and so I mean, I was like jumping, as soon as I voted and I walked outside, I was like jumping up, screaming with my friends. I was like, oh my God, I just elected the next black president. And everyone just looking at me like crazy, like, cause they didn't understand, you know, what it was like for me. And when he won, I was crying. I, was, I had like tears flowing and it was just a really great experience for me. And this is gonna be great to reelect him a second time. So uh, if you could speak to other young people in that 24, uh, age group mm -hmm. who have never voted what would you say to them um, I would say it's necessary to vote if they want to keep themselves their rights protected and I would just say that it's it's really important it's the only kind of power that you have to help change the government one way or the other and that's important because it it impacts our lives in school. I mean, most young people are in school and even just living in a city, if you're not in school, all of, all of the rules that the government makes are gonna impact you. So it's really important to vote. It's your obligation if you wanna have good representation. Now you're not only black, but you're a woman. And the last couple of years, it's like, they're doing like the backstroke with regard to women's rights and women's issues. Mm -hmm. um, has that motivated you even more to be involved? Um, well, it definitely keeps me motivated to keep voting because, I mean, just with, with the abortion, abortion rights, I want to make sure that I'm voting for someone that is going to be able to um, recognize a, women, a woman's right. and. I mean, in the case of abortion or in any other situation. So it just, it just makes me more motivated to want to elect people who are good people, good, honest people, and want to protect people genuinely.